Good morning, y'all. Well, we down here at the wood yard. We're gonna get a, hopefully another third of a cord split today. Uh, a couple more. I got three logs down there I wanna get processed. Uh, I got a, I believe this here is an elm on my uh, bucking station, processing station, however you wanna put it. All right, we're fixing to cut the front out of this uh, tote here and and uh, get it ready for when I get this log bucked up, put the splits in. Well, we only got, I think, one. One bite on the See how far this goes. Let me go see if I got another battery. Down here. I ain't got power wired in there yet. We're still working on that. Here we go. You know what? Let me do this. Be able to see that, yeah. Work smarter, not harder, Clark. Put that over here in the pile. this log bucked up and uh, get this process on the get up and go oh, I, I don't know I forgot to film me marking this but anyways these are marked at 16 inches all the way down and uh, well I just forgot to film it but anyways we fixed to cut this thing up
Got caught in the chain. Gotta go get it out. So, some uh, chain got a little loose and uh, got some chips under there. I wanna see if we can't get them out right quick. Maybe loosen that chain up, shake it out, hopefully. Hopefully none of them got to the sprocket. Cause a problem. Good. I guess we might take it all the way off. It's all right. Boy, I sure do like these captured nuts. They sure make it a little easier. Might as well go ahead and clean this bar out, make sure everything's a copacetic. Ooh, that bar is nice and warm. My cold hands. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah, we need to clean it out. The old good old Leatherman comes in handy. If I get out of this thing, I may have pushed it. Yeah, this old pouch. I was uh, I got this Leatherman, and uh, I don't, I don't have it. I didn't have. I lost the case to it, so I took an old leather knife case and I just stuffed it down in there. There we go, back at it now, and get it out there. Right. So, I think there's a, yeah, there it is. A little hook deal right there. This here's a Leatherman Surge. <laughs> Tell you what, they're pretty good tools. Especially when you're in a pinch. Right. So we're gonna take it, I'm gonna run it right down in there. All the way down to the bottom. Look at all that. Get all that out of there. Yep. There we go. Yeah, might as well shoot a little grease in it. Probably stand a little. Yeah, it, it's got a little ruler on it and stuff, which yeah, it's got that metric system. Anyways, yeah, ain't a bad little deal, man. I'm sure some of you fellas out there have seen those. It's got the replaceable cutters on it and everything. I wish I would have got it with the regular plier instead of needle nose, but hey, it's got a pair of scissors on it, knife. I think a little, little file right here. Oh, that's a saw. Oh, it's got an attachment for a file. Yeah, it was in that pouch. Anyways, there you go. That's a 
shoot a little grease in there. I uh, keep everything. I, I don't. I think I've done showed this uh, once or twice, but I got that Husqvarna can fuel can deal here. I keep all my saw stuff in it. You don't knock it over. I got my grease deal in here. Yeah, that's what I throw in there. It's made in Germany. Yeah, so it's might be good stuff. I don't know. Put y'all back right here. So, anyway, I'm gonna squirt some in there. Spin that around. Ooh, that's a little stiff there. That ain't good. have a little might be gummed up in there yeah that ain't good I might have broke it oh, well, you know what okay because it was nope it's barely moving yeah I can see some stuff down in there there you go get all that mess out of there See it pulling that out? A piece right there. Got it up in there. Yeah, this here is a stump. I'm more actually, it's a big old oak. Cut down at a, or I got it from a buddy of mine's place. He, uh, give it to me just get out of his hair so yeah so, uh, i use it for workbench poured some oil on it on the top of it soak it in put it on the sides hopefully it keep it. and i got it sitting up on block so there it is that's better so hopefully it'll last a good long while See nothing else get trying to get pushed out. Go the other way a little bit. Yeah, that's better. A little bit of stuff right there. Thank you. This here is a black diamond. 27 ton tilt. 
woods, but uh, off this of that woods. So far, it's been pretty decent little splitter. Uh, can't complain about it. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't pay the astronomical money that they're asking for these right now. That uh, you know, and I got it. I got it. Can't remember if it was pre-COVID or. It was right before prices went stupid high, you know. I've seen this same splitter go for 12, 12 to 1500 That's ridiculous. Anyway. What we live in right now. Check this out. See if we got any oil in it. Oh yeah, got all in. Little changes on the spring. Change the spring and then uh, shoot, it didn't get much run time last year due to stuff. Anyhow, turn this gas on because uh, I can always cut the fuel off when uh, I'm gonna. Shut it down. I just shut the gas off. Seems like it works pretty good, keeping things from coming up.
Well, there we go. Lucky, lucky. Got us a third of a cord <clears throat> of oak or hickory. It's a hardwood. That's all I know. But anyhow, uh, there you go. We got her done. Well, it's all split and we're going to do for today. And uh, I'm going to go take it and sit over there, let it get, start drying and let nature take its course with it. Bring that last tree up here and sit on those logs. And then uh, we got other things we got to do, you know, around the house. Uh, got to get taken care of. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all have a happy new year. And may y'all everybody be blessed in 2024. And uh, see y'all next year.